me a little bit about Burrow Bags? Sure, we're a local independent uh, manufacturer and retailer of handmade messenger bags. Obviously our main audience and market is the urban cyclist. Yeah, all these bags up here that we do to make it right here in Jacksonville by hand. Um, and they're all made out of recycled materials? Uh, not all of them. Like All this is like Cordura, like military grade, you know, really high quality canvas. But then, sides with recycled billboards. You see, like, you know, ah, recycled billboard. Right, correct. So it's, you know, each one is going to be pretty unique because it comes from a different part, just like a huge image. Um, yeah, we make, you know, like these big backpacks, little messenger, little hip bags. Awesome, and that was a pretty cool new product that we developed. Uh, and some Pour some watermelon sodas. Pour some watermelon soda. Man, that's military. Fago. Some Fago. Say if you're going to an ICP show and you want to just stock up. Pedal strap wizards lair. Uh, John O'Brien invented these um, pedals yeah. for uh, fixed gear freestyle bikes. Uh, basically, like kids doing BMX style tricks on fixed gear bikes. You needed something to keep their foot uh, firmly against the pedals, and just the old school like cages and toe straps weren't working. So we started making these out of materials that we kind of already had on hand, and they evolved and become. We like to think it's one of the you know top competitors, of, you know, in that product for the fields. So this yeah. is the main production area, the sweatshop, as we like to call it. <laughs> so have air conditioning, some box it's a nice fans. Star Wars size fan right there. So I was reading on the website that you guys started this company basically by making the bags for yourself. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Matt and Chris started it. They were, you know, biking to school and stuff. And you know, just wanted a bag to that they could afford and their friends could afford. And it's since evolved into all of this. We're pretty international now. We've got stuff in retail stores in London and Prague and all across America. So it's, it's Did you guys ever think that it would become something like this? Um, I don't think so. I mean, like, I, I just got on board like about a year ago, so it was definitely part of the plan. It was as things were kind of starting to pick up, and then probably like just like March of this year after moving to this spot, we kind of took some stuff on the road and just been like networking with uh, some bloggers and on the bike scene and stuff, and it's just really taken off since then. So. One other thing I, I find really, uh, really cool is that you can go actually go on your website and custom order. Yep. Any, is it any one of the products or mainly just like the, the messenger bags messenger and the hip bags, bags? The backpacks and the, and the hip bags, yeah. So you can customize the color. With some extra add The material. Options, yeah. Just kind of like like flashlight loops and, and U-lock supports. Roll, and straps, um, just like extra compression, extra pockets. You were telling me that you guys all live in the same house and play in the same band? Yeah. All in the family. All in the family. What band is that? It's called Chicken and Whiskey. Chicken and fucking whiskey. Yeah, it's That's amazing. Ford, punk band. Uh, you guys are about to hit the road. About to hit the road. And their friends, Muhammad Ali from Houston, they're coming this way, meeting up with us. They're going up. Uh, we're going to play in Brooklyn on Friday 13th in Japan. <laughs>